bring good paying, family sustaining jobs to our area? First, you have to communicate. I think that, you know, we've lost 47, I think it's 47,000 jobs in PA 17 over the good manufacturing jobs. When I say good, what I mean is that these were jobs that pay decent wages and have benefits over the past 10 years or so. That's a lot of jobs. Our current congressman, in my view, has, not, has done very little to nothing to really replace those jobs with uh, sustainable employment for people who, who lost them. That means that we have a lot of people who are out of work. I see them every day. I see them in Schuylkill County. You may not see as many in Berks County, but I also know that they exist. I know they do. They exist all across PA 17. We need a job strategy. And you know what? You don't get anything. You will never get anything if you don't ask for it. And you need to be an advocate for the people you represent. Tim Holden, if you were an advocate for us, would actually have brought more jobs to our area. I believe that this is pretty straightforward. I think if you seek and ye shall find. If you say, I want jobs for my people in my district, I think you can, you can work to create those jobs. I think if you say, I don't want this company to leave, and I'm going to work with company X to make sure you don't leave, and I'm going to drive a hard bargain because I care about people and I care about families, I think you can make it work. But I also think you need to be able to have the ear of those in leadership positions in Washington who understand how to create jobs. I don't think one person can do it alone. I think you need to have the ear of those other individuals and you need to be able to say, I want you to come to my district. I know how to do that. I don't think anyone thinks I, wouldn't, I would not ask for and get at least a fairly significant portion of what I ask for around jobs. What are your views on comprehensive immigration reform? You know what, I'm not getting a break here. Have you noticed that? I'm just moving through this. I want you all to know that. If Tim were here, I'd be, I'd be sitting. Isn't that true? Okay, let's talk about, that's true, okay. <laughs> but I'm really getting pumped up. I can tell I'm starting to walk pace like Oprah. This is getting kind of frightening, okay. My views on comprehensive immigration reform. First of all, I know that Senator Schumer has a bill that is pending in the Senate. I need to look at that bill. I know that there is not a companion bill in the House. I want to know what it is that Senator Schumer is saying, but let me tell you what I think. I think that we need to look at amnesty for, for, for undocumented workers who are here under various circumstances. I cannot get down into the deep details, but I'm going to tell you the basic contours of what I believe. You know, because the fact is that if there are individuals who are here who are working, that means that there is a company that wanted to hire them and they're in that job. I think it is specious and for us to say, well, they, I, I, over, I overstated this. I think it is unfair and we go too far when we say they're taking our jobs. Those companies that hired them allowed that to happen. So we, in fact, we, America, what we've begun to do, businesses, is to pick on um, the person and not to, in fact, enforce the rules vis-a-vis -vis the companies. I think we need, to, I think we have it a little bit backwards, and we need to actually redefine how we, how we look at the issue of immigration reform, and I'll get back to that because my time is up. 